Let me guess, you're running Facebook ads, or what's currently known as meta ads, they're not performing, and you don't know where to look. Well, we're gonna go over all the data that you should be looking at and how to fix them. Okay, so here to look at your data. Let's go ahead and dive into some of the data that you should be looking at to find out why your ads aren't performing well. We're gonna first look at the different metrics that we would look at and some of the ideal targets in those metrics. And then I'll dig into the ad account so you can see those metrics inside the ad account and what to look for. So let's jump into some of these metrics here. So what we start looking at first is we wanna make sure we have enough data to actually make decisions. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the number of impressions that your ad has already seen. So we like to be around a thousand at the minimum you can actually run more. You can run up to two, three, 2,000, 5,000 impressions, but at the minimum, we'd like to see around 1,000 impressions before we make any decisions. That is one big mistake I see a lot of beginners make is they just start messing with their ads or turning them off, turning them on without enough data to really make a great decision on if they're performing or not. So first thing we wanna look at is we got enough impressions to actually make the decision. Click through rate. How well is the ad performing as far as people clicking on it? And we wanna be over 1%. So 1% means out of 100 impressions, one person clicked on it. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but that is around the industry average. You know, we've seen higher to two to three to 4%, but ideally you're gonna be around that 1% range. If you're below that, you know, 0.5 or even below that, you definitely wanna make some changes within your ads. The big thing about click-through rate is you're gonna be looking for link click-through rate. So let me show you that real quick in the ads manager and what I'm talking about there. So link click-through rate, if you go into the ad, and then here on the columns, you wanna to go to performance and clicks, and that'll bring up the click-through rate data. And you'll see it has CTR link click-through rate and has CTR all. You are gonna to wanna to focus on the CTR link click-through rate. That is the people actually clicking on the link and going to your landing page, wherever you're sending them. CTR all means they're clicking on anything on the ad. So they're clicking on uh, you know, likes, comments, shares, anything. So we want to be focused on link click-through rate. So let's go back into those metrics. The next thing we're going to be looking at is conversion rate. So conversion rate, usually you're going to have to have conversion rate being calculated on your landing page. There's other ways to, you know, calculate the conversion rate. You can simply just do it by the data you're getting from Facebook and how many people are actually converting. Conversion rate means somebody that is converting on what you could be a lead as a convert conversion event. It could be a purchase as a conversion event. That is typically up to you, but let's talk about lead generation campaigns. If you're doing a lead generation campaign, we want to see our landing page converting at above 20%. And really we'd like to be closer to that 25, 30, and even getting up to that 40% mark on the conversion rate. Um, we've seen campaigns running for a very long time compared converting above that 30, 35% rate consistently. So whenever you increase your conversion rate, you will drop your lead cost down. So think about it. Like if you're at say a 40% conversion rate, which is really, really high um, versus 20%, you're gonna cut your lead cost down in half. So we'd like to see that above 20%. So if your ads aren't performing and they're costing you a lot of money, this could be one of the culprits. The next thing we're typically gonna look at is your cost per mil. So if ad costs are high, look at your CPM. So cost per mil means cost per 1,000 impressions. Generally, like right now, we've been seeing CPMs pretty high. So this is something to definitely look at. You wanna be typically around that 20 to $40 range, but it depends on if you have a very competitive audience, you could be closer to $100. So it just depends on what your audience is and, and what you're promoting. But if your CPM is high, we'll talk about some of the things later in this video on how you can try to fix that. Cost per result, this is gonna vary. It depends on what your conversion event is. It could be lead, it could be add to cart, it could be purchase. Um, and it depends on what the purchase is. If it's a, a $20 purchase, your cost per result's gonna be obviously all lower. If it's a $10,000 purchase, your cost per result's gonna be really high. So this always varies. But from a lead perspective, if you're trying to drive leads, uh, if you have a lead generation campaign, we want to see leads, you know, anywhere from five to probably like $20 max, but we do see those a little bit higher, like for say lawyers and stuff, they'll have typically higher lead costs sometimes in the $50, $50 range or even B2B. Um, but we've seen leads as cheap as a dollar. So it all depends. Frequency is another important thing to look at. So 
whenever you're running your ad campaigns, um, what frequency does, it tells you how many times somebody sees your ads on average. So we like to see that below five, um, but it depends. Uh, we don't really focus on frequency until we start noticing uh, a decline in performance in the ads. If you start seeing decline in performance, check your frequency. If it's above five, it's probably time to come up with some new creatives and some new copy to refresh your ads. Because somebody sees an ad two, three, four times, they're probably not interested and they'll probably see it again and they'll probably discount it. So frequency is really important. So another thing we're gonna talk about is the different assets that are part of your ad and the metrics to look at to fix those ads. So the first thing, there's four really important things that your ads consist of. There's creative, there's copy, there's your audience, and then there's your landing page. Those are the four very most important things on your ad. There's other variables too, but we're gonna just keep it simple. So the things we're focusing on on creative, we're gonna look at click-through rate. Is it above 1%? If not, we might wanna take a look at our creative. Same thing with copy. Is our click-through rate above 1%? If not, maybe it's copy. What we do is we isolate those two things. So we'll, for doing a copy test, we'll use the same image on all the copy to make sure the images aren't affecting it. And we'll test 10, 20 different copies and whatever, which one performs the best, we'll use that as our best copy. And then we'll do the same thing with images. We'll take the best copy and we'll match that with 10, 20 different creatives or videos, whatever you're using for creative and trying to get that click-through rate up as high as possible. So if click-through rate is below 1%. Those are the two main things I would focus on. Another thing you could test is also audience. So audience can have a big effect on your click-through rate as well. The other thing on audience is you also want to kind of watch your cost per result. So if you get an audience that very specific to the product or service that you're selling. Sometimes you might have higher cost per results because you're more of a niche audience. Uh, you might have a co higher cost per result, but the overall cost per acquisition, meaning you might be getting leads for $20, which is on the high side, but let's say more of those leads are quality, good leads coming in versus if you run it in a broad audience, they're cheap leads at five bucks or so, but they're not, you know, the quality is not there. So audience can have a little bit of effect on your cost per result, but sometimes you're not really focused on driving the cost down so much because you're bringing in higher quality leads. So something to think about. Landing page is really important is to look at your conversion rate. But another thing that we focus on is your link clicks to landing page views ratio. So let's say you have a hundred link clicks but if you look, there's a stat, you can look at the landing page views. Let's take a look at this real quick so you can see where that's at. So you can customize your columns and we're gonna go ahead and add landing page views. So landing page views, add it, total, apply, and you'll have the landing page views column. So if, let's say you have a hundred link clicks here, but you only have say 20 landing page views, that could mean that your landing page is it's running really slow. There's page speed is not there. And you might want to look at some ways to like speed up the landing page, or maybe they're just having a really bad experience on the landing page. They, what well, a landing page view is kind of generic, but it basically is saying number of times a person clicked on an ad link and then successfully loaded the destination web page or instant, instant experience to report on landing page views. You must have create a metapixel. That's a whole nother thing. But this is kind of, there's no specific measurement on a landing page view, but basically if some, the page isn't loading and they're not seeing some content on the page and they're bouncing back to Facebook, you're, it's not gonna count as landing page view. So the reason why I support if you're getting a lot of clicks but no landing page views, check out your landing page performance. You can go to uh, Google Page Speed Insights, I think it's called, um, Page Speed Insights, I believe it was called, drop your link in there and see how your landing page is performing. But it's that really low. It'll tell you exactly why it's running so slow. A lot of times it has to do with images, too, bit, too many images, too big of images, but um, improve that speed, that performance, and very specifically improve the performance on mobile. So that's something to think about. All right. So again, here is the, your ads manager, just to give you a really quick overview on this. 
we usually look at the ad level. So you want to look at the specific ads, but you can also look at the ad set level too to kind of see what the average is. But if you look at the ad set, or sorry, the ad level, um, you can go here to performance and clicks. On the performance and clicks, you're going to get most of the data that you're going to need. So performance and clicks, you will see your click through, cl click through rate, your link click through rate. You'll see your CPMs here. You will see your amount spent, but this cost per result, cost per result is going to be whatever that conversion event is. It could be a lead conversion event, could be add to cart, it could be purchased, depends on what you set up that lead conversion event. Frequency is here, so we can look at frequency. Again, if it's, if you start seeing your ads start, the performance start declining, that's something to take a look at to make sure your frequency is not getting too high. And again, you can also add in other data as well. There's tons and tons of data here, not to overwhelm you. But again, landing page views, just making sure that uh, your link clicks to landing page view ratio is not out of whack and causing some issues there. So hopefully this helps you find out what's going on with your ads and you are not lying down the floor, weeping and crying that they're not performing and you have answers to fix the problem with your ads. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, I think the likes are still free. So if you wanna smash that like button, you can, you don't have to. Also, we produce content weekly on Facebook ads and marketing in general. Feel free to subscribe. And if you hit that little ding dong button, you will get a notification whenever we release new content. We're trying to make better Facebook advertisers and marketers with the content that we produce. And I really appreciate you joining my channel.